A man accused of killing a Paradise Valley couple and a Phoenix businessman gets into a courtroom confrontation again. Today was supposed to be a simple pretrial conference for the Michael, Tr Michael Crane case, but we've come to expect the unexpected every time he comes in front of a judge. Corey Rangel live in the newsroom to explain what went down in court today. Corey? Katie, he lashed out at the judge and two victims today, once again appearing defiant, and today he really had this demeanor about him, and it appeared that he followed his own rules in the courtroom. I have not and I do not and will not give my consent to interfere in any of my legal affairs. Michael Crane, combative in court as he challenged the judge during a hearing today. It's a simple question. Does this court have a claim against me? We've done this before, Mr. Crane. You can ask your questions. They're not, it's not a proper form, and, form, and I, I'm in no obligation to answer your questions. I believe you are. Crane is accused of killing a Paradise Valley couple and a Phoenix businessman during two different robberies back in 2012. One of the victim's family members, who lives out of town, called in and spoke at today's hearing. My brother, Bruce Gaudet, one of the victims in this crime and quote-unquote damaged parties, would have been 58 years young yesterday. That's all I have. Thank so he's sharing an opinion. He has no business in these proceedings. Crane is also accused of being associated with a string of burglaries before the murders. During today's court hearing, one of those victims spoke to the judge, wanting his wife's jewelry back after it was stolen on Christmas Eve back in 2011. It has now been more than a year and a half since our items have been gone. Respectfully, we think that it's quite long enough for our possessions to have been thoroughly tested, cataloged, and photographed for evidence. Crane then also lashed out at that victim. Mr. Petrosky, I'm sorry for your losses, but you have no business in this court proceedings at all. <clears throat> if he's allowed to speak, then I can speak my mind clearly. And it's likely we'll see more of this behavior. There will be several more hearings before this trial, which is scheduled for next July. It is just incredible. Thank you, Corey.